Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. Welcome to Kita News. This is a series where we talk about the latest news for all things anime. In this episode, we have big news on a lot of anime, such as Netflix's Ghost in the Shell, new details on the Higurashi anime, Fate anime news, first look at anime design for Gundam San Kona Hathaway, and breaking news on a popular voice actor. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with some Fate news. Fate Grand Order Z Taimaju Sensen Babylonia TV anime ended today, but it surprised us with some huge news, the final singularity Solomon is getting a TV anime adaptation. We don't know if it's going to be an OVA, TV anime, or a film, but we do know that it's getting an anime adaptation, and the same staff members working on the Babylonia TV anime will be returning for Solomon. So super excited, cannot wait, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were expecting this after the end of... Uh, the last episode of Babylonia, but uh, yeah, Solomon is coming and I cannot wait. There is no release date yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. A new trailer for the upcoming film, Fate Stay Night Heaven's Field Spring Song, released a new illustration. It looks amazing. Cannot wait for this film. Unfortunately, the LA premiere got cancelled and all screenings for the film have been delayed and there is no uh, release date yet. So we have to wait until we get word from Aniplex America. The first key visual for the upcoming anime film, Kiro Senshi Gundam Senko no Hasue, has been released. The visual gives us a first look at the film's character designs on Hasue, Amuro, and Char. I got chills just looking at this. Dude, it's just amazing. Hathaway in the middle, Char and Amuro in the back there. Uh, this is going to be one amazing film. I've been waiting for this. A lot of Gundam fans have been waiting for this. Uh, there's going to be a special live stream on March 24th. You guys can expect me to watch it and translate it. So all new types, let's watch it together. The film is set to release on July 23rd. The key visual for the upcoming OVA of Ore wo Suki na no wa Omae da Kikai wo Tachi no Game Set has been revealed. The trailer was also released and it will have a pre-screening event on May 23rd. A key visual for the upcoming Date Alive anime has been released. The website for the anime also revealed that Nakagawa Jun is the director, Higashide Yuichiro is the scriptwriter, Nakamura Naoto is in charge of the character designs, and Studio Geek Toys will produce the anime. A new trailer for Netflix's upcoming 3D CG anime Ghost in the Shell SAC 2045 has been released with a new key visual, new characters, and new cast members. The trailer reveals new Section 9 members Ezaki Pudding, who is voiced by Megumi Han, and Tsuda Kenichiro will play Standard. The new Higurashi no Naku Koroni anime released a new trailer revealing more returning cast members, and the anime will air July 2020. PA Works Up Paradamman releases its third trailer and it previews the anime's opening theme I Got It by Mia Regina and it reveals three new cast members Tsuda Kenjiro as Richard Reisman, Inada Tetsu as Chase the Bad, and Ono Daisuke as Gil T. Shiga. Original anime Akudama Drive finally revealed the character designs of its seven main characters and their voice actors. Kurosawa Tomoyo will play Ippanjin, Umehara Yuichiro will play Hakobia, Takeuchi Shunsuke will play Kenkaya, Horie Shun will play Hacker, Ogata Megumi will play Isha, Kimura Subaru will play Chimpira, and Sakurai Takahiro will play Satsujinki. The main cast members for the upcoming TV anime adaptations for Jakukara Tomozaki-kun have been revealed. Sato Gen will play Tomozaki Fumiya, Kanemoto Hisako will play Hinami Aoi, Hasegawa Ikumi will play Nanami Manami, Kayo no Ai will play Kikuchi Fuka, Mayakawa Ryoko will play Natsubayashi Hanabi, Hieda Nene will play Izumi Yuzu, Shimazaki Nobunaga will play Mizusawa Takahiro, Okamoto Nobuhiko will play Nakamura, and Mizuni Mizuno Shuntaro will play Takei. The second season of Hataraku Saibo Cells at Work will air January 2021. A trailer was released as well as a new key visual. The anime will also have an advanced screening for one of its episodes. A new Nanatsu no Taizai 7 Deadly Sins TV anime has been announced. The full title is Nanatsu no Taizai Hundo no Shimpang and it's going to air October 2020. Let's hope that the epic fight scenes aren't ruined by horrible animations like the last season. Haikyuu to the top has released a new trailer giving us a sneak peek at the Inarizaki High volleyball team. Miyano Mamoru will play Miya Atsumu, Kabuto Hideaki will play Miya Osamu, Shimazaki Nobunaga will play Sunarintaro, and Nojima Kenji will play Kita Shinsuke. It was also revealed that Miyazaki Yu will play Hirugami Saichiro, yes, Hiragami Saichiro from 
Kamomeda High starting in episode 12. K-Lab and Kadokawa revealed a trailer for their upcoming anime part of the Magic and Idol Mix media project Lapis Relights. The trailer reveals 25 cast members and the main staff members. I'm not going to name them all, you can go ahead and watch the trailer yourselves, but uh, there are some pretty big names like Hanada Wakana, uh, there's also Sakura Ayane, there's also Uesaka Sumire, and Nanjo Yoshino, and the other uh, voice actors I'm not really familiar with. But uh, pretty big names in this cast, so definitely check out the trailer if you want to see the full roster. Going into video game news, Aniplex Exit revealed their first game lineups. The brand will release Adabana Itang and Atari My Dear Moments novel games in June on DMM Games and Steam. Aniplex of America will release the games in English. Square Enix announced that they will be giving away Tomb Raider and Lara Croft's the Temple of Osiris for free on Steam. This will allow gamers to not be bored at home during the ongoing coronavirus. It is limited time only, so definitely download it while you can. So going into Seiyu voice actor news, popular voice actor Okamoto Nobuhiko, who is known for his role as Accelerator in the Index series, Bakugo in My Hero Academia, to name a few, was caught going into a love hotel in Kabukicho with an unknown woman. It was later found out that the woman was a fellow voice actor, Ogame Asuka, and the big news is, they're actually married. It's actually very common for Japanese celebrities to uh, keep their love life a secret to keep their popularity. I'm sure Okamoto and Ogame wanted to reveal their marriage in a different way, but uh, congratulations and uh, probably hide that better or just you know just reveal it that when you get married, you know. But congratulations and I hope you guys have a happy marriage. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Are you guys excited for Fate Grand Order Solomon the anime? What about Gundam Hathaway or even the Ghost in the Shell anime? I'm excited for all of this coming out right now. So uh, comment down below and tell me which anime you guys are looking forward. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.